Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to do a video today about how to top up your Ravcav uh, if you are living in Israel. Now, if you're living in Israel, then you probably already know what the uh, Ravcav is. It's a really useful uh, travel card and it's interchangeable between different providers as well. So you can use it on Egid, you can use it on uh, Afikim, the different bus companies. And in Jerusalem, you can also use it on the light rail system. So there's a whole bunch of uh, uses for it and you can get around Israel's public transport using the RAVCAV. Now, the most common way to top up uh, the RAVCAV uh, these days is probably using NFC. That's how most people would do it. You can see there's download links um, on RAVCAVonline.co.il uh, and there's an Android app and there is an iOS app. Um, however, you can also do it from your computer if you have a card reader and you can pick these up from the RAVCAV stations. Finally, you can also do it from uh, different top-up points that are located physically throughout the country. Um, I personally use the computer method. I'm a little bit old school like that and I like to do this process from my desktop. So in this video, I just want to show people how to go about doing that. So first thing is that if you want to change the language out of Hebrew, uh, the website is translated into English, Russian and Arabic and it's at ravkavonline.co.il but for this video I'm actually just going to use the Hebrew interface. So uh, click on Kenisa in order to get in and it explains what your options are here. Uh, Applicatia, so if your phone has NFC you can simply hold your Ravcav up. You firstly download the app then you physically hold your RAVCAV to your phone, making sure that NFC is enabled, and then you'll get the option to top up your card. And after you've paid uh, the technology on your phone, the NFC reader writer will load the contract onto your physical card, or you can use one of the top up points as I mentioned. Finally, and this is the option I'm gonna be uh, demonstrating in today's video, so what this is, it's an NFC reader that, uh, as I said, you can pick up from uh, one of the RAVCAV stations uh, that are located throughout Israel. So I'm gonna click on that and we're gonna go into the, uh, the system. So as I mentioned in a couple of my videos, I'm one of those uh, strange people who use the Linux operating system. If you happen to be using Linux or Ubuntu, the good news is these uh, cool people at RAVCAV actually have a official Ubuntu client, so you can just download that. Assuming you're using Windows or Mac, then it's also available for Windows and Mac, so all you need to do is click on these icons. So I've just downloaded the uh, Windows file, and if I click on Mac, uh, and I just allow the downloads here, then that'll download um, a, a PKG file for Mac. And there's also, there's a button here, Hamshech Lalo Horada, which means obviously continue uh, without downloading an installer. My experience, it works better using that installer. So firstly, go ahead and do that. So after you've done that, click on this button here, Siyamti Litaken Hamshech, and then we'll continue. So once you've succeeded in uh, physically placing your RAVCAV into the NFC reader, then it's going to automatically load up your details. And you can see at the time of recording this, I have uh, 370 shackles stored on this particular RAVCAV. Um, you can see the RAVCAV number, I, mine is blurred out here, but that's what the number that appears here. Um, and I've got a profile, uh, regular profile, and this particular RAVCAV is valid through uh, 2027. So you can see the expiration date as well. Now, if you want to add more uh, money onto your RAVCAV, so you can do a few things all using the system. Firstly, you can just load up stored value, or you can load a monthly contract. So if you're living in one of the cities and you want to install a Chovshi Chodshi, uh, which gives you access to, uh, for the duration of that month within the travel zones, it'll give you unlimited travel, then you can do that all using the system. I'm just gonna put on uh, 200 shackles here. So it says, the Chidush Alpaim Shkalim. So I'm gonna click on this. Now they do have this really nice thing, thing at the moment in order to incentivize the system, I guess. Uh, you pay for 200, but you can see that I'm actually going to get 250 shackles so at the time i'm recording this they actually pretty much are giving you a bit of free money which is super cool uh so you have to choose your operator here as well so i'm going to choose egged and uh it, this is valid throughout the country and it just does point out here that it's going to be 
uh, there's that 90 minute rule is applying as well. So after you've clicked on the amount of stored value you want to put in, uh, you need to put in your national ID number into this field and then click on the pay button. And once you finish the transaction, um, it's going to be, you're gonna get this uh, confirmation message and now that contract has been loaded onto uh, my, you'll also receive automatically a confirmation email uh, just confirming you, giving you proof of purchase as well. Now, if I return to the home page of the RavCav system, uh, you can see that it's saying that the co that the contract was successfully successfully loaded um, at this time. The two hundred shackles was applied. I actually got two hundred and fifty, and now my updated balance on this RavCav is uh, six hundred and twenty one shackles. That's all you need to know to do it from the computer. It's a really really easy process, and if you've made it this far, you can now go ahead and remove your RavCav uh, from the NFC reader and you'll be able to place that onto the RavCav reader on uh, buses or trains and you'll be able to use your updated balance. This is the RavCav reader. I picked mine up um, about a year ago. Um, it's just a USB NFC device and what you need to do is just place this, connect this into a USB port uh, on your computer and once you've done that this will start flashing in green and then just physically take your RavCav and uh, place it in to the slot. And once you've done that, uh, the green light will go on to steady state. Once you finish the loading process, all you need to do is take your RavCav out of the RavCav reader. You can leave that hooked up to your computer or you can put it back in your cabinet and uh, use it the next time you need to add uh, money onto your RavCav. Thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to get more videos from me, please subscribe to this YouTube channel.